welcome back to another video don't forget to like the video subscribe to the channel for videos every wednesday sometimes on sunday so now we're on a sunday video today um it's a lovely day first of all busy day now today what we're doing is at the moment now anyway first thing we're clearing the dung heap that's here in the yard and we're gonna bring it over to, to the other yard because just in kind of the way there like the yard is kind of small nest there so we can clear that out it should be good and what we'll do is and I'll heap it up in the other yard and then I just, obviously like you know I spread, it, I spread it with the dung spreader every year on the land I can trade it with that stuff's gonna be valuable now this year with price fertilizer so hopefully it'll be good anyway um, heifers are all in here there's 13 heifers for AI this year now they've all got their, their they're all on their synchronization program now they all got their um, PRID devices or CRID whatever you want to call it all right, they, they've all got their devices in so they'll be removed now one day on one day sorry on Monday and they'll get their hormone injection on Monday as well and then they get the same thing on Tuesday and then on um, Thursday they'll get AI yeah so branches is all good to keep it I, I hope that they will so anyway first job let's get all this let's get all this, this dumb cleared in, into the trailer and get it drawn over
and I'll talk to you all then. So everyone, we're back in the out farm here and see behind me, the cattle are out. There's still six more to go out, but kind of younger ones and they have to come back here this week now. But we left, we left them out last week and yeah, there's nice grass here in fairness. And um, it always seems to thrive pretty well at the start. Um, it's just raining at the moment now, it's just starting to creep up now the rain, but some people are looking for rain, some people aren't, but look, hard to know. So, there's nice grass here, like in fairness, there's a nice bite here, and they're all happy, like you know. Selling these now at the end of the year, might finish some of them, let's we'll see how they get on. Yeah, they're pretty good, they're still, they're just going into a... You know, they're just over the year old now, all of them. There's a lot of February in January, February barn, and the April barn ones as well. So they're just they're nice cattle, in fact. I'm happy enough with them. They'll fatten off this grass now. They won't get any meal, they won't get any ration whatsoever. They'll just fatten off the grass. Nice bite here. Do you know, it's pure sand, so there's no really need to plow it. I, I, might, I might renew the seed at some stage. But won't be this year now, but at some stage I will, because I have a feed to reseed at home as well, so you'll see all that. Um, the out farm this year, I have a few bits to do. I'll be showing you, I have some more fencing to do, that I'll show you, I have a bit more fencing to upgrade here, and for this year. And there is some trees, there is some trees to clear back here, and there is some work with the, with the, with the track machine at some stage. Back here, I want to clear all them, them tree stumps there in the distance. There was, there was a ditch there at one stage, there was like a massive hedge. Um, before we owned this this ground, there was a hedge, there was a hedge, a line of trees there, like over on the far side. And basically, what happened that was, I think, uh, that big storm was there a storm 2012 or 13 before we had this ground, and that that just leveled them completely. Apparently, that's, that's what we know anyway. So, um, I suppose uh, whoever was here last has cut them down and things like that. So, um, they have, they have to be cleared and probably it's not that ditch is kind of high there so God, rain on the lens guys sorry um, if I'm fuzzy now because of the rain take notice so I probably will just level that off make this all one big field then so hello guys friendly cattle is the best cattle so we got a mixture of there's a few Anguses here um, so there's a couple of limousines, so there's, there's three limousines and all the rest of the whiteheads and Frisians obviously. Um, I sold four, there should be another five here but I sold them five, we sold them at start, was it? we sold them about a month ago. Um, got good money for them at the time so I just let them go, you know, for, 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 for what they were, I got great money for them. So I just, I just let them go. And, but they're all really happy here in fairness, happy enough with them now in fairness like, you know. But yeah, but yeah, coming back to that, um, I have my bale pad above there, I have to, I normally leave bales here every year, so I, my bale pad there, I have to just level that off with the land leveler. Um, there is a bit of work from there with the cat, with me fed with the machine, with the digger, but um, my dad's probably going to be working with the machine for the next couple of months, so I probably won't have it, so what I might just do is, um, just clean the lens guys, sorry, apologies for all this now. <laughs> um, I probably will just get the land leveler on the track and level it off with the land leveler, and um, I might even give it a rub of the roller. And it'll just, it'll just grow back itself, like you know, it'll just grow away. Ideally, if I don't want to just level off and put grass seed there, but can't here now, so that's not going to be viable because they'd probably root it all up again. Would they? They probably would. No, my cattle, they would. Anyway. My cattle normally do the complete, my animals normally do the complete opposite thing to what I want them to do. So that's probably the same for everybody. So that's what I'm going to do with that. Um, so that's the cattle, they're happy out here, really. They'll be here now for the year. Yeah, but like I said, that's a few bits to do back here just to get this farm sorted out. I did my when we got the farm first. I did wire it all. Me and my dad wired it completely all on the boundaries. With that was sheep and bad wire all on the boundaries, but we just gave it high tensile wire around the boundaries, just to kind of basically just like sheep wire and bad wire are fine, but just get power on the fence. That extra bit of protection, so we done all that. And what we'll. I have to do some more small jobs back here just to get tidied up, and maybe in the end of the year I might just get the hedge cutter and a few ditches back here to tidy it up. I know the road bound. I don't know the road verges with, with, with the hedge cutter, but 
have to do some more bits and pieces. Clean the lens again, guys. Have to do some more bits and pieces with it, but for now, be fine. That's an old uh, ring fort there. And that's, that's actually two in the scroll. That's what does that one up there as well. You might have seen that in another video on the drone. There's one there, and you probably all have seen that in the drone. Anyway. I might have even said it last year. I might have said it. I, I don't know. And the cat loud line half of the fort. I know there's trees in there, but I, they're actually the trees that were from there. So they were thrown in there. Nothing wrong with that. That's what happened with them. But yeah, either than that, guys, happy cattle. Happy cattle as always. Now, um, gotta head home now. You might see my Instagram story um, yesterday in my Instagram post. We were extending the bale pad um, because we just needed more room for the bales. And because it's bales left from last year, we just needed more room for the stuff this year. And now I didn't film any of it because I was out of AI in the morning. We started it late and we didn't finish it till late, but we got it done. That's the main thing. And my dad knows at home leveling it with the track machine. So we, we just got, we, we have trunking at home. So from, uh, we, we dug out two tanks 10 years ago. So we have the trunking. We have a bank of trunking all the time. So we just dug it out of that and put it onto the pad. Just, we, do, we got all the tops out off the site and heaped it up in a heap and then we threw in the trunk and so the car was and everything being finished we were at it late but we got it done my dad is going to level it now with the track machine today so i'll go home now and show you that uh, nice job now you know it's a few bits more to do with it but it'll make it's good trunk and so it'll be a hard surface so it'll be good for the bales and i'll go home now and show you that and i'll just show you the calves we moved all the calves uh, last week as well so they're all moved over to the yard so i'll show you them and yeah either than that um grass grows kind of slow down a small bit now but there's a bit of heat coming out hopefully a bit of heat and a bit of light rain just drive it on so i'll go home now and i'll show you the, the bale pad and the calves so we're back again it's the evening now it's cleared up nicely now so it's henry the bull looking out there so i'll show you the bale pad now that we've extended um, see all the bales that left from last year now, so obviously they're already stacked too high over here, so not much room when you have to fill more bales. And we're actually, since the new shed's up behind, we actually lost that space for bales up there because we need space for trailers and stuff and general farm machinery and all that. So this is the new pad we made. Um, this was just the field. We <coughs> stacked the bales here and this is actually the first lockdown in 2020. That's where we stacked the bales here. That's summer. Um, I think things were open by then, maybe that time of the year. So we stacked them in the feed because we we're getting out because we we're getting caught for room. So I just wired it off. Then I got three high strands of wire, and I know that post. That's the old strainer that was already there. I just strand the wire onto it. So this is just hardcore that we had behind from digging out all. To, you know, the slatted tanks that we've had it for years and we always use it for this kind of stuff it's nice solid surface for the bales um my dad tracked it he packed it all in with the digger he tracked it down with the with the track machine it's well packed and what we'll do is now from the quarry we'll get some kind of quarry dust people know it's kind of just fine stuff it's kind of just like powder really uh, from the quarry and we'll try Try get two truck, truckloads of that and try it over it and get the land lever on the tractor and just level it off and get the roller and roll it and be perfect for the bales. It's good with the bales on that because you know on the stones it probably puncture the bales even though bales seem to get punctured anyway. So it happens. So that's that anyway. Nice solid surface and these you can come out so far and then like the 6 to 50 will go very tight here so you can go as far as you can here with the bales. This is 6 drift is very tidy here, so you can go probably come out as far as here with the bales from there, so out to here, and then so once we'll I come on this way then. So out here and then this way. Similar to that setup. And then obviously then I probably will ironically have to leave a track going here. So I can get into because obviously I'm gonna use up the old beds first if I can. And then them over there, and that pad would be the older beds to use again. 
So I keep rotating the bales all the time. So what I'll do is I'll probably make it cut, make it track. This is where you lose space for the bales because here it's not it's all right because you, you obviously have to, you have to leave space for the for feeding the cattle here. Number one, so you have to get the bales out nearly as far as here, at least for the nine hundred to come in. Even that the nine hundred struggles even that you have much space to kind of maneuver. So. Obviously the dung will be gone, so the base probably be out then as far as there. So you want to leave enough space in here for the bales, and obviously I need I have to leave now enough room so I can get into the old bales. That's the beauty of the 900, so tight is so it's small so you can get in. That'll be that, so that's going to have to be done because like you can't eat them bales another year because they'll just rot. You have to use them at least, I think anyway, if you use the bales at least two years. If, if you don't even have two years. They just rot like you know. Not like hay, they just set to rot and the plastic has to melt and it's just messy. So anyway, another thing, the calves are all over here, so all the cows are happy out here. And when the cat the cattle are out obviously as you've seen, so I'll give them some silage and the the round feeder are here and they're just going down now. Just so that that's it, that that's able to escape. Oh, the last thing I need. So sheep round feeder and there's a bale of hay in there and calves all line the cubicles. There's some straw at the back there and they all line the cubicles. And yeah, they just this trucks are here, they chill out here then during the day and yeah. Now I know a lot of people I, I know a lot of people have calves out, obviously they do now, I, I, I know that and people are wondering why I had them left out. This farm, as long as I can remember, the calves were always left out in the middle of May. That's always how it was done. That's never going to change, probably. That's how we do it. That's ever how we do it, how we done it. They leave the farm behind. The new shed now that we built, they leave there. They come over here. They chill here. Uh, them cattle actually have to go out in there. They have to go out tomorrow, hopefully. And they chill here. And them two paddocks here. They, these two fields. Not only the first one there. It's all wire with two strands of fence wire they go out there and to train them actually to train them we run them up and down the farm roadway up, up, up and down here just to get the steam off them because if you leave them out the field first time when they're just out of the out of the shed they're kind of they're kind of flighty and they can go through the wire normally we don't have many go through the wire maybe one might jump into the next field maybe there but in fairness the past couple of years has been quite rare. And once the ditches are on the field, it's not too bad. I know that that's a little ditch on that side, but I might walk along that side then, and if anyone getting close, I just run up and stop them, and it seems to knock the stuff out of them. Do you know? So, yeah, they all chill over here. Got the Belgian blue there, and got a couple of got, got a couple of crossbred calves there as well. The red ones over there, the crossbreds, and there's Roo the calf there. Roo the calf. So they all chill there, and for the first week, they normally go in by night. So it's pretty easy, um, reclaiming my night. Here, it's eventually, uh, here, I might put gates across here eventually, at some stage. And be down, and just turn that post up, that post, just to make it easier for leaving cows in and out, for leaving cattle down here, because the wire there is fine, but the army just, and the cattle just run through it, and can be a bit of a nightmare at times, so. I might put gates there at some stage. But yeah, the calves only go in by night. And uh, it just makes, People leave them out. I know they leave them out by night and they're out. Some people have cats over two or three weeks. I, I know that. But like I said, every farm operates differently and we always operated like that. We always operated like that. From, from day one, we always operated like that. So that's all I know, really. That's how I remember doing it. So, yeah, guys, that's the calves. And um, they'll probably be out now. I think there's rain this week. So maybe the next good break now they'll be out. And the grass growth is slow enough in fairness, but it's coming slowly. So hopefully we'll pick up down on this farm and we'll be able to leave the calves out because I don't want to sacrifice two fields either at the moment because the grass growth is kind of slow and you know you don't want to lose a field either for the cows. You want to keep as many fields as possible in the rotation and the grass grow kind of catches up with the demand. It is managing at the moment, but we don't want to bury ourselves. So, cows are happy in there anyway. They're eating silage, they're happy out. They're happy out. So, now guys, I gotta go home because it's getting late and I gotta go home. Um, so, thank you for watching. Um, 
like the video and subscribe to the YouTube channel and follow me on Instagram and TikTok. Um, we're going to do well with hopefully the videos now. We'll keep it up through the. I know I missed last day I season. I didn't really do many videos in May, but this year I think I'll try and do a video a week at least, or maybe two. So there'll, there'll be no blank periods. Hopefully, <laughs> we'll be not doing videos. So hopefully, we'll be able to keep consistently keeping the videos up. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll see y'all later. Thanks. Bye bye.